this is for 101 class for students offering political science and it is an introductory class. Uh, here are some basic course information and the facilitator's uh, profile. As I mentioned earlier on, the course is post 101. Uh, the course title, Introduction to Political Science, is a two credit unit course. Facilitator's name is Bawa Mohammed. Office, Department of Political Science and International Relations, Center for Distance Learning and Continuing Education, Main Campus, Airport Road, Abuja. Mobile number 0806-550-9882. Email mbauer09 at gmail.com. I want to make an emphasis here because of the 09 indicated in the email. A lot of people used to make mistake of putting 09 is wrong. O is a letter. What I have here is 09. Figure 0 and 9. Please take note. Otherwise, there will be no communication. Office hours, Tuesday and Wednesday, every week, from 10 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. And of course, online hours, we will always liaise with our instructor, uh, who will be available for consultation during office hours, and um, contacts through uh, the e-tutors. The general overview of the lecture, this course basically is designed to introduce students to the study of politics and government. It examines the impact of politics in our lives. We we'll also look at the relationship between political science and other social science. Students too are expected to learn about the fundamentals of political theory. We we'll equally examine the differences between forms of government in this course. At the end of this course, students are expected to have a broad overview of meaning of political science, appreciate the relationship between politics and political science and how it is related to other social sciences. Uh, political science does not stand on its own. Uh, we call it a cross-disciplinary course because it is all encompassing. It has strong relationship with other courses in social sciences. Recommended study textbooks and then, um, of course, external resources. You can lay your hands on Post 101 monograph of CDLCE, Unit 1 and 2, University of Abuja Press. And also, very, very important, if we can lay your hands on introduction to, it is very important that uh, you lay your hands on introduction to political science, edited by P.N. Chikendu, Academic Publishing Company, 2002. And of course, subject matter of political science by S. A. Ahmed, 2017, on the website indicated. Now, method of assessment for this course. There will be two tutored marked assignments, TMAS, at the computer-based test, CBT, throughout the course in addition to a final examination. An assessment will be given at the end of the class and submission will be on the due date. Other tutored marked assignment will be 
in the form of individual assignments and group assignments and also are meant to be a studying material for the CBT and of course the final examination. Take note please, no late homework will be accepted. Emphasis, no late homework will be accepted. Please, uh, it is expected that we're a serious set of people, adults, we should take our serious, we should take our studies uh, as serious as possible. Students are expected to submit what you have at the time it is due. So, if you are given an assignment, even if you are not through with it, once the date is due, try as much as possible to submit it. Attendance is compulsory. The regulation says 70% attendance is the condition upon which a student will be allowed to write final exam. Take note, it is very, very important. Now, the grading style or policy is as follows. Students' performance in this course will be through the following assessment model as specified here in the table. Uh, first time, attendance is five marks. Chats, discussions, and forums will attract 10 marks. Second time, Assignments and CBT attracts 15 marks and final examination is 70 marks. Total marks obtainable is 100. Now, here are the rules of engagement. Students who are absent from class will lose the marks or attendance. Students who submit their assignments later than due dates will equally lose total marks obtainable. So please take note, it is very, very important. Students who are unruly during charts, discussions and other class interactions will lose one mark of the total marks obtainable. So. All assignments as well for this course will be submitted electronically through the email provided in the facilitator's profile unless otherwise instructed. Assignments must be submitted by the given deadline or if you cannot make it, special permission must be requested from the instructor before the due date. There is no hard and fast rule. At times, we can un understand, you know, as human beings, we can run into one or two difficulties. So, if that situation arises, you are permitted to ask for clearance. You are permitted to ask for extension of time for submission of your assignment. All students that have enrolled for this course are expected to maintain high level of commitment, responsibility, and participation in all learning activities. Academic dishonesty in this course includes the following. All classwork and individual homework should be done independently unless explicitly stated, otherwise on the assignment instructions. So, what is saying here is that the general solution strategy may be discussed, but solution must be written independently. You are expected to carry out your studies independently, but discussions with other classmates, colleagues is allowed. But whenever that happens, it is expected that you will indicate it at the top of your assignment and label it collaborators. Now, the content of this introduction to political science, uh, 
uh, especially in this course, we'll be looking at the introduction. Uh, we'll try to answer what is political science and equally look at if political science is a science, is a debate that has raged for a very long time. So in this course, uh, we'll try and look at both sides of uh, those who are for it as a science and those who are against it as a science. By way of introduction, political science is a social science discipline that deals with systems of government and the analysis of political activity and political behavior. It deals extensively with the theory and practice of politics, which is commonly thought of as determining of the distribution of power and resources. Various scholars have introduced political science in so many ways. Some have called it uh, authoritative allocation of resources. Uh, some have described it as who gets what, when, and so many other forms of introduction. In this course, we'll try and look at some of these definitions. Now, the big question is, what is political science? Political science is a social science discipline. No two way about that, because it attracts methodology, it attracts analysis, it attracts uh, contribution from other social sciences. So, uh, it's a social science discipline. According to Greek philosopher Aristotle, political science is the master of all sciences. Yes, it is the master of all sciences because we look at it as a cross-disciplinary kind of courses because in administration, sociology, economics are all part of political science. We get to know about them as we go along in this course. So to know about political science first, it is very important to know about politics as both political science and politics are often used interchangeably. Uh, we are family, uh, familiar with the expression, he's playing politics. He's playing politics with this or that. We'll look at it if actually that is the true meaning of political science. It is believed that the term politics is derived from the word Police, meaning of which is city-state, that is, the old Greek city-states. What, what we look at or call politics today, they call it police. So the meaning of politics is derived from police, meaning which is a city-state in old Greek. In ancient Greece, police or the city-state was the most popular and general form of political organization. However, in contemporary world, by politics we mean the activities associated with the governance of a country or area. So, in our contemporary time, we look at politics as all encompassing. How a state is governed, the processes of government, institutions of government, is what cumulatively makes it politics in our contemporary days. Now, so political science basically is the study of government and politics. You look at the various forms of government, you can compare one form of government with another form of government. You look at the institutions, as I said earlier, and all those 
various areas of our day-to-day -day life, especially when it comes to uh, running a state, is, you know, what we call political science. But it is proved that political science is not only the study of government and state, but also it is the application of empirical theory and scientific method to the analysis of political issues and processes. It has been proven that political science can be studied empirically. It can be analyzed scientifically. Going into the field, getting your facts, getting your data, and you arrive at a theory which you know, uh, will make it political science. And it is, it also deals with political ideas, ideologies, institutions, policies, processes and behavior, as well as groups, classes, government, diplomacy, law, strategy, and so on. Just as I mentioned earlier, it is all encompassing. It's about us as human beings in a society. How do we run our activities? How do we relate with each other? How do we distribute resources? How do we distribute power? Now, we'll look at the subject matter of political science itself. What does it entail? What is it all about? What are the things involved in it generally? According to S.A. Ahmed, 2017, the scope of political science can be classified into four areas, namely political theory, political institution, political dynamics, and international relations. As I said earlier, political science is a master of all courses because it is all encompassing. As we can see uh, in analyzing political science, one has to take into consideration a lot of these issues. One, political theory itself. A clear understanding of these basic terms and concepts is essential for the study of political science. This is a starting point political science students. Concepts, terms, terminologies, one had to get himself conversant with all this if truly you want to study political science because in a way it has its own language of expression. Whenever you are talking, you know, about governance, leadership, how do you express yourself? What are those terminologies that you're supposed to use in expression of you know, what you are talking about? Political philosophy. Now, this is the building block of political science, especially at an introductory level. Political philosophy is concerned with the theoretical and speculative consideration of the fundamental principles used by political science. Fundamental principles is very, very important because eminent philosophical scholars like Plato, Aristotle, Machiavelli, Thomas Hobbes, John Locke, Jean-Jacques Rizzo, Hegel, Karl Marx have all have tremendous impact on political science. They have expressed their views on nature, functions, and end of state. So, for you to have a proper understanding, a proper grasp of what political science is, one has to study or familiarize himself with these scholars. What are their views about state? What are their views about governance? It is very, very important. 
now political institutions is equally the scope of political science. The scope of political science extends to study of organizations and working of formal institutions like the legislature, the executive and the judiciary. And in this contemporary time, the electorate and even administration, how does your executive function? How does the legislature function? How does the judiciary function? Are they independent? Are they controlled by the executive? Are there separation of powers? These are political institutions within a political setup that requires uh, uh, rigorous study. So we need to familiarize ourselves with institutions because it is the scope of political science. Now, political dynamics. This refers to the forces and processes at work in government and politics. They influence and explain political action. They include the study of political parties, pressure groups, interest groups, lobbies, political opinion, propaganda, and political semantics, meaning of words, which influence and manipulate political behavior and attitude of individual groups. How are processes carried out within a given political system? Is it by lobbying? Is it by giving bribes? You know, how are projects conducted? How are projects carried out? within a given state. So these dynamics play a very important role in making sure certain aims are achieved, especially in governance. Now, public administration. Public administration is a major branch of political science, even though it has emerged as an independent discipline in recent times. It deals with the organization, control, and coordination of administrative machinery, personnel, financial administration, public relations, management, administrative law, and adjudication. It also covers the study of global government and administration. So political science is all encompassing. Before the 70s, public administration as a course used to be a component of political science. However, uh, at a point, uh, I'm sure a lot of you are conversant uh, with the fact that we have departments or faculties of public administration uh, in some of our institutions of learning uh, as it obtains today. International relations and international law are very, very important components of uh, political science. The study of international relations is an area in political science. It covers such important subjects as diplomacy, international politics, foreign policies, and international organizations, world peace, cooperation, and even world government. The need for strong international laws and sound international relations can hardly be overemphasized. How do countries relate with one another? How does Nigeria relate with her neighbors? This is what is studied in international relations and is within the scope of political science. Now, relations between states and the individual. Relations between states and individual. The proper adjustment between the authority and power of the state and the liberty of the individual is always intricate. Uh, political science deals with the proper sphere of state action, the limits of political control, and the area of individual freedom. 
I'm sure we are all aware we have a repressive state uh, where there is no liberty of free speech. So, political science tackles that. It looks at these issues. How do states as entities relate with citizens? How do they relate with individuals? Individuals have rights. States too, we know, have rights. These rights have a limit. How do we balance it in between so that the state does not infringe on the right of the individual and the individual does not cross his line? So these are very, very uh, important uh, scope areas in uh, political science. Now, another big question that requires answering is, is political science a science? Is it really a science? The controversy, whether political science is a science or not, is as old as the subject itself. Even today, the controversy has not died down. There are a large number of prominent scholars who believe that to call political science a science is simply a travesty of the word science, is to chip in the word science, is not to give that science as it stands some respect. However, the opponents of this view emphatically argue that subjects like physics and chemistry are science, no doubt, but they are not only sciences. There are types of sciences, and political science is a prominent branch of social science. When we call political science a branch of social science, we invariably use the word science in a broad sense. That is the position uh, of those scholars who believe that political science deserves to be equally recognized as science. We can also mention that though Political science is not pure science in the real uh, mold of physics and chemistry. It is undoubtedly a prominent branch of social science. This observation is iconic in nature and therefore uh, requires elaboration. Uh, from what we have observed so far, uh, we can conclude that what we declare as the content of political science is in fact derived from many other subjects which are known as branches of social science. So, hence there is hardly anything like pure science, various aspects and matters of political science are derived from a number of social sciences. Even political science borrows its method of analysis from other subjects. That is why it is a cross-disciplinary course. It borrows methods, approaches from other social sciences. Thank you.